Tunjai Taimas. He's a professor of geophysics and seismology at Istanbul Technical University. He joins me here on set. Um, Tunjai, good to have you on the show. You know, when you look at sort of seismic activity around the world, it's not very uncommon to actually see yeah. about a dozen or half dozen to a dozen strong earthquakes, magnitude 7.0 and above. We've actually seen eights and nines in the past as well. But when you have two powerful earthquakes, 7.7, 7.6, within a very concentrated uh, region, Elbistan and Pazajik, within a very short time period, yeah. what does that mean? Well, first, thank you very much indeed for inviting me to here. Let me correct a few things. The 6th February 2023 main shock is named Nurda Pazajik earthquake. According to my own calculation, magnitude is 7.89, so it's about 7.9. And the second aftershock, Elbistan Ekinözü, is nine hours later. That's magnitude 7.8. I know this because I am the first ever scientist who published the first scientific publication on this earthquake within two weeks. And the second one within a month with the USGS scientists in Colorado, in Denver. And then we, I, within eight months, I've been able to publish almost about now is 16 scientific papers, including science and nature ones. These are mm -hmm. the top journals in the yeah. scientific world. So I know this because I have processed all the available data sets on the ground using AFAD strong motion data sets, weak motions, near field, regional waveforms, teleseismic ones, and remote geodetic observations from satellites of NASA, Euro European Space Agency, China, and Japan. Okay, so and so this is a, a crucial question because this is one of the strongest ever recorded in Anatolia in last century, instrumentally, because mm -hmm. uh, we know that 1939, Erzincan was 8.3, is the largest one, but we, we couldn't record those by then. We didn't have enough knowledge on electromechanical seismometers, seismographs. That was just computer. one earthquake. Uh, yeah. It's actually we're within a nine-hour yeah, period. We do have a doublets, what we call earthquake couples, follows up within a a few hours, within a few days, within a few months, like we had experienced in 17th of August 99, and Gölcük and Düzgörd, okay, that was 7.5 and 7.2, followed like, within three months' time. And we did have doublet earthquakes in... Uh, but in one, one was over here, one was over yeah, here. There's yeah, several yeah, hundred kilometers. Yeah, We're yeah. talking about uh, a very... It, it, it was hundred, yeah, well, that was 100 kilometers apart, and here is, we got more than that. Okay. But the Nurda was just a small branch of... Uh, a fault triggered the other one. The, the, the most exciting topic about this one, this was a super shear uh, rupture. It's about 5.2 kilometer per second rupture velocity about the shear waves, and it's ruptures about 400 kilometer in one length and about 200 kilometers at that whole area. Rupture. 5.2 meters in, per second. Kilometer per second. Kilometers per second. Per second. Okay. Yeah, so that's a huge one. So we do have similar earthquakes in. Kunlun in Altanta, in Tibet, in Himalayas, in some parts of San Andreas Falls, but not a few in Japan. So that is certainly one of the top five earthquakes in the world, 7.9 earthquakes. That is what uh, we calculated from uh, USGS and Turkish and Chinese and Japanese ones. So I am, but whatever I am saying, I'm saying based on my own calculation, own exploration about this. So I was the very first person who published the Eastern Anatolian Fault Earthquake Source Mechanism in 1990. So every 10 years time, I'm revisiting okay. and recalculating all the, all the other, other ones. So I don't is, have a lot of time yeah, left, Tunjai, okay. but if you could talk to me about the, uh, the region and some of the, the risks that are involved okay. in terms of yeah. uh, after these uh, two major shocks. Okay, the risks are that we are not uh, you know, civilized in many ways uh, as far as the constructions are concerned about, uh, you know, the, the industrial elements or civilian way of life, a uh, standard layman on the street to accumulate the residential areas by the river banks and alluvial fence. And, and so the, we do have lots of what we call basin effects of tunneling or screening and, and enlarging the P or S waves within the basin to make huge intensity, the super shear rupture, in fact, increased the intensity of the earthquake in a long distance, about 400 kilometers. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's the first event ruptured six 
earth, uh, six earthquakes within 10 seconds apart, and then triggered the other one. So this is not common in the world, but we have in a, what we call plate boundary faults, like North Anatolian Fault or East Anatolian Fault, or Dead Sea Fault zone down beyond the Samanda to Lebanon, Palestinian, Israel. That's going to be the, one of the next 7.5 earthquakes location to rupture to the south. Mm -hmm. So this, this the danger is still there, okay. and we know where and how, uh, but type of mechanism is going to rupture, but we don't know the, the, the that toll. But that's a uh, you know, big question because we need to have early warning systems to you know, evacuate uh, public and some other some, industry. Some. But this is a long topic to discuss, and this is not a surprise for seismologists. It's a, just a natural way of life, and we knew it already in the last 50 years of studies based on our uh, Exploration. Uh, again, the, the reality of the region is, you know, it's, it's not uh, if it's going to happen, but when it's going to happen. But fa uh, fascinating research that you've done with the USGS in terms of yeah. uh, revising some of the stuff. Uh, yeah, but we did much better work with Japanese and Chinese ones mm -hmm. than the USGS ones. They, those are published in Nature and Science. Okay. And Tunjai September, Tainos. October, and 19th and 23rd of January. And it's the event cited papers and 16 papers. All it's right. a big record in this science. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very that. much for inviting me. All right.